This is 5-Minute Power Platform, where I'm building fast and making things in Dynamics, Flow, Power Apps, and more. Today, we're going to do Azure IoT Central using an MX chip device. Now, I looked at a bunch of different IoT devices like the Raspberry Pi and the Arduino. They all have a lot of capacitors and wires. I like the MX chip device because it's got a lot of sensors built in, so there's more time in Azure and less time configuring it. So we'll start by going to apps.azureiotcentral. We're going to create a new app. We use sample dev kits as our um, template, and we'll give it an application name and then create. Now, once it's provisioned, we're going to be able to add a new device to it, and that's going to be our MX chip device that we're going to configure here in a second. So go to Device Explorer, and then click the plus sign to add a new real device. We'll just keep the default ID, and we're going to give it a name that's a little more recognizable. And then click Create, and it's going to give us some of the IDs here. Go to connect. Here are the IDs. We're going to need the first three, the scope ID, the device ID, and the primary ID. Copy those and save them somewhere. We'll start off by initializing the MX chip device by copying a new firmware onto it. I'm doing this on a Mac. You can do it on a PC as well. Connect the MX chip with the, to the USB on the Mac or PC. It'll show up as a drive. Download the firmware file that you can see in the window behind here and then copy that on to the drive that represents the MX chip device. Once it's done flashing, you'll see this on the screen, connect to this hotspot. Connect your computer to the hotspot at that IP address, and you'll see this web page here. This will give you the configuration page for the MX chip device. Type in your, wi your uh, Wi-Fi password that you'll be using, and the, select the Wi-Fi, and then the three IDs that we copied before, the scope, the device ID, and the primary key. Add those in here, click configure device, that'll initialize the device, it'll restart, and we'll be ready then to see it connected to IoT Central. So once the device reboots, you'll see it connect to your Wi-Fi, and then uh, once it starts, you'll see it pretty quickly start sending data into IoT Central. So we can see that it's already got two signals sent in, so let's move over to IoT Central. So we'll load this up here, and in Device Explorer, we'll see our device, so click on that. And I've got it plotting the accelerometer, X, Y, and Z. And this bottom one, the Z-axis here, is going to be whether it's facing up or down. So let's flip it over, and we'll see that the chart then starts trending downward. And we'll get a couple more signals here as it continues to catch up with the device. And then in a moment here, let's flip it back over and watch the chart react to that. So flipping it over, we start to see then IoT Central start to respond by trending upward here in a second. Now we can also send commands out from IoT Central back to the device. So we'll click on the Commands tab at the top here. We can see we could have a, echo, a value echoed out to the LCD. So we'll run that, and we'll see that start to display there. And also we can force the LED to pulse. I'm doing a 10-second countdown. And so what this is is a very quick overview on how to configure the MX chip device and get it connected to uh, Azure IoT Central. I hope it was useful for you. Thanks for watching.